all new at nine, is it artistic expression or the glorification of violence? Some people look at this exact same mural in downtown St. Louis, but walk away with very different interpretations. Fox 2's Max Deakney joins us live downtown tonight. Max, you heard from people on both sides of this debate. Yeah, Mandy, we did definitely a lot of passion on each side of this debate as well. We went down to that mural along the riverfront to check it out for ourselves. A stunning view near the St. Louis Riverfront, roughly three miles of flood wall along the Mississippi River covered with a wide variety of graffiti art, but one mural has garnered a lot of attention. It shows a person holding what looks like a rocket propelled grenade or RPG with the words Gaza behind them. It first went up a week ago as part of Paint Lewis. Just days later, it was defaced and then painted over again by supporters before the artist Kiki Salim restored it on Sunday. I talked to Salim on the phone. She's a Palestinian American whose family has been greatly impacted by the war between Israel and Hamas. She told me she has no violent intent toward any group and that she painted this piece to highlight what she calls an ongoing genocide. Others see this piece very differently. The Anti-Defamation League, they put out a statement on Monday saying, quote, calls for lasting peace rarely include a figure holding rocket propelled grenades. The Jewish Federation of St. Louis also told Fox 2, quote, we condemn the implied calls to violence and promotion of terrorist images. Richard James has been coming down to view this graffiti art for years along the river. He says he doesn't find this image offensive. This is a freedom of speech piece. I see a man with uh, a weapon looks like to uh, protect his country or his people. And that's what we do and that's what all other countries do. James, who says he is of Jewish heritage himself, says he understands why some might find this piece jarring. Still, he thinks this kind of expression should be protected. I just love coming here. I think it's fantastic and the freedom of this wall allows people to express themselves with no fear though. And I did talk to one of the organizers of Paint Lewis tonight. He told me there is no vetting process for these murals that you'll see along that flood wall in downtown St. Louis. So it's not necessarily endorsed by Paint Lewis or the city of St. Louis. By the way, the artist Kiki that I told you about, she told me tonight she is just hopeful that it does not get defaced again. Reporting live in downtown St. Louis, Max Deaknight, Fox 2 News.